Hello everyone, this is Stunt Collector here with another action figure review. And here I have the Marvel Legends Storm and Thunderbird 2-pack with the X-Men uh, waves. Uh, so here we have these two and here's the box here. So you get Marvel's Thunderbird and Storm there and you get the gold X logo there. You get the yellow highlights there. Uh, you get the Marvel Legends logo there and you get the black lining around the box here. And then you get the gold X logo on the top here with the Marvel Legends logo over it. And here's the side with the Thunderbird uh, art there. And then here's the back with Thunderbird and Storm there. And then here's Storm on the other side. And then here's the bottom with the DCPI for you. But besides that, let's crack them open. All right, and here's Thunderbird and Storm out of packaging here. So let's go over Thunderbird first because he has no accessories here. So he kind of looks like a... What's his name? Warpath a little bit. I think he's supposed to be like his brother or something like that in the comics, but I don't remember. Um, but yeah, you get the same looking, uh, like, what is it? What's the word? Um, style as Thunderbird, kind of. He's a little bit more lean compared to Thunderbird. Thunderbird is more, I mean, no. Warpath, I mean. Warpath is more bulkier than this one. Uh, he, this one is more leaner, um, but yeah, he is not as bulky as warpath but yeah you get the nice flowy hair in the back well it's not flowy it's more sh like just lay back i guess get some more hair you get a little bit of black mist paid paint there but if i'll focus and storm just fell there we go so yeah you get the white eyes there you get the red like eye cover there he looks pissed um but yeah, you get a little bit of black mist paint there on the red there, and you get the white feathers. And I think that's supposed to be like a uh, maroon looking, I don't know what you call that, like a button, I guess. Uh, and you get these like little ribbons on this bicep there. And you get that little eagle or bird there in the center. And you get his belt here with that same looking logo with a bunch of circles around it. Same deal on the back, you get that same bird on the back there you get the blue on the outer part of the legs here and then red in the inner and it kind of looks like they missed the paint a little bit there but it's not gonna bother me a whole bunch um and then he has these like bracelets here they are separate pieces so if you want you can take them off and he has like these gripping hands but he doesn't have anything to hold on to um and then he has more of these like ribbons on down the shins and calves and then just black uh, blue boot and yeah, I think this guy is pretty cool. He looks pretty cool. Uh, let's go over his articulation here. So his head can hinge down that far if my camera will focus on him. There we go. So his head can hinge down that far up just a little bit because the hair kind of gets in the way there. You get him to go look left and right kind of. The hair still kind of like stopped it for a second there. A uh, little bit of head pivoting. Uh, his shoulders can move up just that far you get 360 oh. rotation there yeah bicep swivel he has double jointed elbows there his wrists can hinge down that far focus 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 there we go hinge down that far up that far and 360 rotation uh, he has an apple crunch so you get him to go forward just that far backwards a little bit he has a waist swivel, so you can get him to go 360 rotation around there. His legs can kick out just that far. Kick really far forward, so that's good. Uh, backwards, now a whole lot, like zero actually. And he does have a thigh cut. He has double jointed knees, so that's good. And you do have a boot cut there. His ankles can hinge down pretty far. Uh, up that far, and nice ankle pivot. All right, now let's go over the Storm here. So she has some accessories here. So she has the normal face here, just calm, white eyes and stuff like that. The hair is laid back or straight, so that's good. Nice white hair, and Storm just fell. Uh, so yeah, there's that. Uh, I'll go over the reason why she keeps falling here in a second. Um, and, and he falls because I bumped into him. All right, 
not having a good day with these two because they keep falling f or over. Okay, stay up. There we go. Um, and then Storm has two of these like reaching out hands or trying to summon storms and stuff like that. So there's that. There's that one. And you get two fisted hands for her. These guys are pretty small, so keep track of these. So yeah. And then you get uh, another cape here where it's like just kind of laid back. She's not using her powers really or anything like that. So that's cool. And you get the gold lining there. Uh, it's really glossy cape. You get the red uh, jewel in the center there. And then gold around the collar there. So that's cool. And then that's all we got for accessories. So let's go over her. So you have the head sculpt where the hair is going all over the place. She's like kind of pissed or trying to summon storms and stuff like that. You get the fingers, electric fingers here, which I think we've seen before with like Electro with all of these. But uh yeah those are cool i like the blue that they use for this one like a little turquoise one and it's transparent or translucent so that's cool you get that little black uh, headpiece for her there uh that you get the white eyes there you get a little bit, a little bit of purple um makeup there you get the lips look good um you get the cape that's going all over the place nice and wavy uh, you get these bracelets, but they're attached, so you can't take them off or anything like that. Uh, and then you get this weird-looking, I guess, suit or dress, whatever you want to call this thing. So, yeah, you get the gold ring there, or the belly button, and then uh, you get all these weird, look. I don't know, a bunch of cutouts for this thing. So, yeah. And then you get the little boots or that go all the way up to her thigh there and you get the holes near the thighs and stuff like that so yeah and you get the skin tone right um you get the, yeah uh and then you get the heels which is the reason why i was not able to actually keep her up straight and they're very skinny so you kind of gotta like practice doing it i kind of didn't mess with it so that's why she's standing straight up like that right now it's kind of tough to figure out where to get her to her heels to hinge down and stuff like that it's kind of confusing but yeah uh her, let's go over articulation here so her head can hinge down pretty far up just a little bit the hair kind of gets in the way there you get her to go left and right a little bit of hip pivoting uh her shoulders can move out a little past 90 degrees there so that's good you get 360 rotation around well you can if you take all right, you could probably get her to do 360 rotation around the shoulder if you could take off the cape there. Uh, you get uh, single jointed elbows, which I'm a little worried about because it looks like it's about to pop out there. You can do 360 rotation around there. Uh, her wrists can hinge down that far, up that far, and 360 rotation around there. She has a diaphragm joint on the top, so you can either go forward just a little bit there, backwards just a little bit. Uh, you get three uh, side to side, just a little bit there too. You get 360 rotation around the ball joint there. Our legs can kick out pretty far, that's good. Forward, just a little bit. Backwards, actually really far, more, more than normal. Um, and then you get 360 rotation around the thigh. I mean, not 360, ah, oh, shoot. Thigh cut, sorry. Uh, double jointed knees. And it looks like they're using that uh, pinless joint technology there so that's good um for some reason it doesn't want to go really i think mine must be like a little messed up there because it kind of looks a little a little tight there so it's gonna be weird you could kind of see the plastic kind of bending for that lower part there it's kind of worrying me a little bit so yeah um and then her ankles can hinge down that far up that far and a nice ankle pivot and here's the two back store with uh, storm with the uh uncanny storm and they're standing at a reasonably the same height uh i you can't really do a head swap the skin tones are a little different so it'll look a little weird she's a little more like a tan she's a little bit darker uh this one is so yeah, I'm not sure about the head swapping there. So, yeah. 
And then here's Thunderbird next to Warpath. Warpath is taller and more bulkier, uh, but they reasonably, I think they have the same, actually the, pretty much the same exact uh, style, except she, he has uh, shoulder pads and sleeveless. She has a short sleeve shirt, so yeah. So I think these two figures are really cool. Um, I guess the problem that I have with, I only have one problem and it's uh, Storms. I think the elbow joints, I feel like they're just gonna pop out or something like that. And then like the knee joints, I'm a little worried about this one in specific because like the bottom one won't bend so well. And if I ch do try to bend it, you can see the plastic is about to like tear apart kind of right there. So that one has me a little worried. But yeah, I think these two figures are really cool. I prefer the look of this storm than the other one, to be honest. Um, and then Thunderbird, looks pretty close to what uh warpath looks like so uh, i i'm guessing they're brothers or something i haven't really went over any comics of the was it x-force or warpath or anything like that um but yeah um but these two figures are pretty cool um and yeah that's all i've got <laughs>